Hey guys, you're the board winner here. Alright, and I just decided that I wanted to do a follow up video to my last video that I made on Monday about, like, Brie Bella and I, how I didn't like how she's been acting since Nikki betrayed her at SummerSlam a couple of weeks ago. Years ago, and I also talked about, like, the history of other family betrayals that have happened in the WWE over the years so yeah I'll, I'll probably talk some more about that too in this video but yeah I'm just gonna like give some more thoughts on what I thought of how I think about how Brie Bell is acting All right. so yeah there, someone left a comment on my video saying that they're just like this is just like building up till on uh, till when eventually Brie will finally snap and go after Nikki Nikki and they've just like been building it up or whatever okay yeah they've been building it up yeah and I I know that since like pretty much eventually probably in the next few weeks Brie will finally snap and finally just fight with Nikki but seriously I mean if don't you remember like back in like 2000 and like when was it 2010 2011 and then like the they were like fighting all the time they were actually like physically fighting each other each other all right and you're telling and really i mean now don't you think that free would actually really be going after nikki a lot now now even more than like when they were fighting back then Back then, because, yeah, I mean, they were just fighting just because, like, they were having arguments with each other or something. But now, hell, Nikki actually did betray her sister. So don't you think, think that, like, it would even be more, even more of a physical fight and it would be, like, real brutal? Yeah. yeah. I mean, this is what should have happened, like, the night after SummerSlam. Um, I mean, yeah, on Raw, during the segment with Stephanie and Nikki... Brie should have just came out there, there and just totally like beat the crap out of Nikki, alright? I mean she should have actually came down looking for a fight, alright? And yeah, and yeah, like I've said before, Brie should just not be like crying about it. About it. Like when Nikki slapped her and said she, that she could never forgive her for and Brie was just walking to the back crying. And then what happened this past Monday? Yeah, Brie just refused to, like, fight Nikki, and she just let Nikki attack her like that. I mean, yeah, I mean, if, like I said, if they were fighting as much as they were back in, like, 2010-2011, then they really, then I really think that they should, it should be, like, way brutal for what Nikki did to Brie at SummerSlam. Slam, alright. And so, yeah, I mean... Yeah. So, yeah, Brie shouldn't be, like, crying about it and being all hurt that her sisters betrayed her. She, this should be just like how it was, how they acted to, with each other in 2010-2011 when they were always fighting with each other, right? Okay, and, you know, I just, you know, and now, like I said, I just, I remember in my last video, I did, like, bring up some other times that there were, has been family betrayals in WWE over the years. Like I said with like Edge and Christian, Matt Hardy and Jeff Hardy, stuff with the McMahons and some other, few other instances, yeah. Yeah, there were some that I didn't explain which I just feel like I should mention a little bit in this video, alright? So yeah, there was that. And I couldn't believe I didn't bring this up in my last video. When Owen Hart turned on Bret Hart in 1994. I mean, I really cannot believe I did not mention this in my last video. I mean, yeah, I mean... After Owen and Bret lost that tag team title match at the Royal Rumble... The rumble, Owen Hart turned heel and turned on Bret and kicked him in the knee, and they had like a year-long rivalry. Rivalry, and not once did Bret Hart like say like he, re he 
like, was forgiving Owen for that. At least I don't remember him saying that. Or, like, he wasn't going to fight Owen at all. Yeah, Brett was actually will wanting to face Owen, and that's what they did. They faced each other at WrestleMania 10. And, and Owen became the, the king of the ring. Ring at, well, the king of the ring with the help of Jim Anvil Nightheart, and, yeah. And then at SummerSlam, and they face each other again in the cage match for the WWE Championship. And then Owen then cost Brett the WWE title at Survivor Series in the match against Bob Backlund. Backlund, and not once, not once during that feud did Brett like refuse to face Owen or anything. All right, Brett was actually looking for a fight. Yeah. And then yeah, <laughs> I mean, and where do I begin with all the betrayals and everything with Undertaker and Kane? Now. This could, like, kind of be, like, similar to the stuff with Bree and Nikki, like, during the WrestleMania 14 challenge when Kane wanted to face Undertaker, Undertaker refused, but he eventually did agree. Agree to it after the casket it segment at the Royal Rumble where Undertaker was burned, and then, yeah, he, that's, it took that for him to agree to face Kane at... WrestleMania, but yeah, yeah, but after that, Undertaker really was, he never did refuse to face Kane, ever, I mean, and all the betrayals, I mean, the betrayal in 1998, and then, yeah, the betrayal in 2010, by both Kane and Paul Bear, to the Undertaker, yeah, and even, like, Paul Bear, who's Kane's father, Paul Bear has turned on Kane also. Also, and yeah, you didn't see Kane, like, being, like, the, a prima donna or anything. Think about it. I mean, Kane still was going after Undertaker and Paul Bear. And I guess there's really no point in, there's really no reason to, like, talk about, like, Lita's betrayal against Kane when Lita was Lena and Ken were married, because, yeah, that was all just, yeah, they weren't real family, so, yeah, no need to really talk about that. And, uh, let's see, is there any other, is there any other family betrayals that I didn't mention before in my last video? Um, let's see. Okay, yeah, I really don't think that there are any more family betrayals I can think of right now, because I don't remember things like, maybe, I don't remember ever, any three Hollies ever betraying each other, I mean, yeah, with Hardcore Holly, Crash Holly, and Molly Holly, yeah, I don't remember any betrayals that went on between them. Dudley Boys, it wasn't really a, well, with Spike, it kind of was a betrayal, but yeah, that wasn't really like anything, yeah, Steve Hunt and Bubba were really the two more, yeah, people think of them more when they think of the Dudley Boys. They don't really think of Spike very, as much as they do Bubba and Steve Hunt when they hear the Dudley Boys, so, yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I really can say about the other family portrayals, so yeah, alright, so anyway, yeah, that's just more thoughts I have on the, how Bree's been acting with Nikki and some other family portrayals that have happened in wrestling over the years, so yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, so yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.